guys, I'm Janelle and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a custom facial that I'm doing on one of my beautiful clients. I am a licensed esthetician in the DMV, Maryland area. If you're interested in seeing this transformation, keep on watching. Thanks. Bye. For her first cleanse, I am using Eminence Organic Skin Care Wildflower Cleansing Balm. The cleansing balm is supposed to maintain the youthfulness of the skin by unclogging pores, cleaning away makeup, and gently exfoliating dead skin cells. The key ingredients in this cleansing balm is elderflower, which is a astringent, poppy seed oil, corn flour, and linen flour. For her second cleanse, I'm using Skin Scripts Glycolic Cleanser. The Glycolic Cleanser is a foamy cleanser infused with a combination of alpha hydroxy acids. It renews the skin by removing the upper most layer of dead skin cells to reveal a bright, smooth skin surface. This cleanser also lessens the appearance of acne scars, refines and renews the skin, lessens the appearance of wrinkles, brightens and invigorates the skin, and enhances cellular turnover. For her enzyme today, I chose to use Skin Scripts Lemon Zest Enzyme. The Lemon Zest Enzyme exfoliates and brightens the skin with the antioxidant and brightening of benefits of lemon. This product contains 8% albutin, 6% lactic acid, 3% glycolic acid, and 2% kojic acid. It is designed for normal and dry skin with pigmentation. It promotes deep hydration and protects from environmental damage while relieving the surface signs of aging. This is one of my favorite enzymes. This enzyme definitely leaves the skin super bright and hydrated. Um, this enzyme does have a tingle factor of two to three, so sometimes I will use it with steam or without steam on my clients. It just depends on how they're feeling. And also to take away some of that tingle factor, I will mix it down with a creamy hydrating mask. Well, Skin Scripts Goji Berry Mask. Since my client's skin is a little bit more sensitive in her T-zone area, I decided to mix the lemon zest enzyme down with the Skin Scripts Goji Berry Mask. This enzyme is usually a bright yellow color, but because of her sensitivity, I decided to mix it like I said before. And I let it sit on the skin for about five to seven minutes without steam.
now I'm going in for extractions, the best part of the facial. Extractions hurt, but they're worth it. Extractions help make the complexion of your skin look clearer, basically making the skin look super bright and even. It improves product absorption, helping products absorb into the skin faster because all the dirt and dead debris, dead skin debris, are out of the skin's pores. It prevents future breakouts and it removes blackheads and whiteheads. If you're going to a facility and they're not wearing gloves while doing extractions, please run. Since we're done with extractions now, I am going in and I'm rehydrating my client's skin with Skin Scripts Mint Refining Toner. This toner is designed to eliminate environmental debris and irritants. It has lemongrass that acts as a natural astringent to tighten the pores for a smooth and refreshed skin. It helps minimize the appearance of pores and normalizes the skin's moisture content. Now I'm going in for another layer of hydration. I am applying Skin Scrip Cucumber Hydration Toner. This is one of my favorite toners. It's like crack in a bottle. It does a real great job of hydrating the skin. So the hydrating toner is supposed to rehydrate the skin while improving cellular functions and absorption of ingredients. The cucumber soothes and cools irritated skin. For her mask today, I am using Skin Scripts Golden Honey Nourishing Mask. Um, so this mask is supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, calm the skin, moisturize the skin, and it's anti-aging. One of the key ingredients in this mask that stood out to me was ginger. The ginger is going to create a warmth in the mask, so when you put the mask on the surface of the skin, it's kind of warm and then it cools down. So that's what's going to help make the skin look more plumped and give it that healthy red glow. As you can see, this mask is super sticky because it does have honey in it. So I'm just taking my time and I am making sure that I get it well coated on the skin. I'm topping her off with another one of my favorites, which is the Estee Max Hydro Jelly Max. The mask that I chose to use on her today was the Radiance Biotin. This mask is great for all skin types, dull and dry, sensitive, sun damage, and rosacea skin. This skin, wow, this mask keeps the skin moisturized and prevents cracking, balance sensitive, dull, and problematic skin, helps dry skin by properly distributing oils and water, repairs the skin and returns it to a healthy condition, stimulates skin cell renewal by rejuvenating old cells and generating new healthy cells. This mask does take a little while to apply. It does look very gooey like it's not going to come off, but it is. It dries down into a rubbery state. When you peel it off, you just feel like a fresh newborn baby. That's like how I like to describe it. Um, this mask is definitely going to calm her skin because it did look like it was a little red, but I'm telling you, it's gonna calm the skin and her skin is going to feel super smooth and soft. While the mask takes about about 10 to 15 minutes to dry. It just depends on the temperature of the room of where you're doing your treatments. While the mask is drying, I'm going to give my clients a relaxing massage. I did 
massage her head earlier but I didn't get to show you guys that clip because I forgot to record but now I'm just going to just take my time and just show you guys a nice relaxing shoulder and hand massage you're not going to see the hand but you're definitely going to see the shoulders massaging the skin reduces stress increases relaxation improves circulation lowers the heart rate and improves the overall appearance of the skin when massaging my clients i usually like to start from their scalp working my way down to their face neck and shoulders and then hands my favorite part of the body to massage is my clients necks a lot of people hold on to quite a bit of tension in their neck so just taking your time and massaging that area could be very beneficial to the client As you can see, after removing the facial masks, her skin definitely looks very smooth, hydrated, and calm. I used the hot towel, not too hot, on her. Hot towels are very relaxing on the skin to remove the product. Now I'm finishing the facial with my finishing products. The serum that I used on her was Eminence, Eminence Bright Skin Serum. The serum overall is supposed to help hydrate and brighten the skin and help with fine lines and wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. For her moisturizer today, I am using the Aussie Berry Moisturizer which provides hydration and protects from environmental damage while relieving the surface signs of aging. This lotion is also supposed to help soothe and calm the skin, encourage proper moisture levels, normalize water slash oil balance, and improve skin's hydration to limit visible lines. Then I topped her off with some black girl sunscreen. It is very important that you wear your sunscreen. All skin types need sunscreen. It doesn't matter if you're black, blue, green, yellow, orange, all skin types need it. 
It's the number one anti-aging cream on the market. Now I'm giving her a little gloss. I am using Pamper Me Beauty Bars Emerald City Lip Gloss to top off this amazing facial. That is my brand. Now look at this glow. Oh my gosh, amazing. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.